How's it going guys? Joshua Lufemi here from Los Angeles, California. And you are the next great creator. At least you could be. Before I tell you about the one thing that could be ruining all your videos and potentially your career, I'm gonna be telling you three reasons why I think you could be the next great creator. First, you here in 2021 have access to the most amazing cameras and video editing software at an affordable price. This is a huge shift from the previous era when only a few people had access to high quality cameras and editing software. Creatives were barred from creating not from a lack of skill or a passion to develop new skills, but a lot of the time from lack of finances. And think about it, even those that could afford the creative tools of the day were very much limited regarding what those tools could actually do. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking about film camera dollies. Back in the day, you had kind of the old guard where you had these camera dollies that had to be set up via a three-man team and they had to be manually pushed. And now you have these completely autonomous dollies that are able to use these robotic arm attachments to actually recreate the same shot over and over again as many times as you want. Maybe you're someone today that can't even afford the cheapest of cameras. Well, our own channel teacher, Quinn Murphy, actually created an entire product commercial using only her iPhone 12. If you don't believe me, you can actually check out the tutorial in the description below. Maybe you're just fundamentally against shooting professional video on an iPhone, but you can't quite afford a mirrorless DSLR. Well, initially you may not even need to buy one because in most countries, it's actually pretty easy to rent them. As an example, if you live here in the US, you can go to borrowlenses.com right now and rent an A7S Mark III with a standard lens for about $250 per week. This camera and lens combo is almost $4,000 to own. So in theory, you could rent that camera out once and then do a couple paid projects and then use that money to actually buy the camera outright. And it just keeps getting better. Video editing software has never been this easy to use, nor has it ever been this accessible. You have free options like DaVinci Resolve or paid options like the Adobe Suite. When I first started using Adobe, you had to pay a flat rate of thousands of dollars to use the entire suite. You even have browser-based video editing like Runway ML that allows you to edit 4K video seamlessly within your browser, completely obliterating the need for powerful computers. This is crazier than you think and I'm gonna actually expand on this in another video. Now fam, having access to great cameras and video editing software does not necessarily mean you're gonna make great videos. You need to have a lot of experience and knowledge. And that's where my next point comes in. You, my friend, have access to so many teachers and mentors. Every aspect of production has been explained somewhere online by some member of our massive video creator community. And any question that you may have, you could easily answer it on Quora or Reddit. And even on the business end, say you need to learn how to effectively price your services as a creative. All you gotta do is a simple YouTube search and seconds later, you'll be watching experts like Chris Doe walk you through subjects like value-based pricing. Talking about learning stuff from the internet, here on the YouTube channel, we actually just paid an Australian university student to learn After Effects completely from scratch by basically going through 10 tutorials that we had on the channel. It was amazing. You should check it out in the description below. I remember back in the day, I had this idea to watch one post-production YouTube tutorial every day and then try to recreate it in real life. And I was thinking, man, if I did this every day for like a year, I would probably accumulate the same amount of education that I would get in like a couple semesters in college. I didn't quite stick to that, but I think if you dedicated just right now 10 hours of dedicated learning time from YouTube tutorials, and then an additional 10 hours where you could just dedicate to applying that knowledge in a real life project, you'd be amazed what you could achieve, but it gets better. The third thing that you should be excited about is the fact that you do not have to sweat the small stuff. And this is a cool opportunity where I'm gonna throw in our channel sponsor in Bado Elements. What I mean is you don't always have to worry about creating a lot of specific things straight from scratch. I'm talking about call outs, titles, lower thirds, music, and any other post-production bits that you use to add polish. And it sucks. Years ago, I remember you would have literally had to learn how to create a lot of these things from scratch. You would have had to have gone and paid an expert to do it for you, or you would have had to have paid like a ridiculously high licensing fee in order to use a digital product that someone else has already made. Now you can actually license these pre-made assets at a very affordable price, and then you can go in and customize them yourself. These assets are oftentimes made by people way more talented than you and me. And because of that, it can be a waste of time a lot of the time to try to create these yourself. Sometimes you may have a client that would require you to completely just create everything from scratch. And if so, that's fine, but that's more of a rarity. 
99% of the time, you can log into Envato Elements, download one of their millions of professionally made digital assets, add it to your video, and get your project done faster and better. Now, this video is sponsored by Envato Elements, but only because I have personally myself already paid $198 for my annual subscription. I've taken advantage of the unlimited downloads that you can get. Um, right now, you're looking at my personal downloads. These are the files that I've actually licensed for this year. And as you can see, Envato probably isn't making a lot of money off of me. Um, whether it's lower thirds, stock footage, music, After Effects, or Premiere Pro templates, you will find it all and much more with Elements. Click the link in the description, make your life easier and your videos better. Okay, add over. Subscribe to Elements and support the channel. Now, because of these three things that we've covered, you as a creator now will have more mental energy to focus on the thing that will make you great if you master it or completely ruin your career if you neglect it. And that's emotional storytelling. While every other aspect of video production has gotten easier, there's still no shortcut to telling a great story. If your storytelling sucks, your video will suck. As creators, we focus so much of our time into how our videos look when we should actually be focused on how our videos make our viewer feel. No matter what expensive camera you use, new skills you learn, or digital assets from Envato Elements that you slap on to polish your videos, if you don't tell a story and make your viewer feel something, your video will be forgotten faster than it was watched. I mean, think about your favorite scene in one of your favorite movies. For me, I like to think about the ending scene in Inception that takes place at the airport at LAX when the mission is complete. Of course, we appreciate how it looks and how it sounds, but I bet you love more how that scene makes you feel. Welcome home, Mr. Cobb. Thank you, sir. Okay, we get it, we get it. I'll stop repeating myself. So how do we actually do this? Well, I would say the first part of making your audience feel something is deciding what you want them to feel and when. Then you work backwards from there. You ask yourself, number one, what do I need to capture visually to have my audience feel like this? With what angles am I capturing my actors? In what lighting? With what performance direction? At what type of day? In what location? In what time period? Number two, you gotta ask yourself, what type of music will push these emotions captured by these visuals even further? Are there any sound effects that I can add to bring them into this world that I've created so they feel like they're participating in the moment rather than just watching it? Number three, maybe ask yourself during color, what type of color grade will match the narrative? Maybe cold blue tones could evoke feelings of discomfort, darkness, and tension. Maybe a warmer tone could push a more relaxing story of romance. Friends, every aspect of our craft can make someone feel something. And when perfected, you'll be able to make your art so that you can create these moments that no one will want to forget. So here's the bad news. Let's say that you follow all of these rules. I still can't technically promise that you will be the next great creative, but I can promise that you'll be someone's favorite. And that's still just as good. This is just a short video, guys. I hope you're having a peaceful last few months of 2021. Please make sure to sign up for Envato Elements in the description. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, remember to keep it chill.